What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. I definitely like this matchup and a chance to get my Tomb Guardian some hefty SPPs here and even my Blitzraws on those uh, thralls. This is not a matchup that he likes seeing. He does not like seeing all the strength five. I can guarantee you that. Let me receive. Ah, been nice if I could have received. So I just got to be a little cautious of the... Uh, uh, not really. If you do a lot of them, they do. If you do just one, they don't. So here's here's the thing, right? Cheerleaders and coaches only affect two two different roles on the kickoff table. One for each, right? But those roles are only a die three. So if you add a one to a die three roll, that is a huge difference. If you add a one to a die six, it's not as much a difference because with... One added to a die three, for instance, if you if you roll a two and you add one to it, that's a three. That means your opponent has to roll a three. If you have a die six roll, you roll a two and you add one to it, it's a three. Your opponent can roll a three, four, five, or a six, right? So there's a lot more chances for them to be able to uh, to beat you on that roll. But on a die three, the, the gap is narrower, so there's a lot less chance that they're going to beat you with a plus one. If he didn't have the cheerleader and the coach, and I got or he got fame, then his fame would cancel out, or my cheerleader, my coach would cancel out his fame on those rolls. So then it'd be straight up roll, right? But it's a huge, huge difference. Speaking of that, I rolled a ten, and he rolled a five, so I get the uh, I get fame here. It's a huge difference on a die three for only twenty k. Now, it's twenty k for two chances only on a kickoff event and a lot of times you'll go a lot of games without having any one of those kickoff events hit but it's worth to me in my mind it's worth that 20k for the chance to have that one extra plus on that um, on that die roll <clears throat> all right so we're gonna leave that throw rot off we're gonna get all five of these guys up here or all three of those guys sorry we'll get him here, him here, him here, him here. We got a blocker here, come up there, and then he'll come here. Put him here, him here. Yeah, I like that. They affect the, um, the, I don't remember which roles they are, S maybe six and eight or something like that, but um, it's the one where you make a die three roll for a free re-roll, and it's uh, ones for coaches and ones for cheerleaders. Tell you here in just a second. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, it's six and eight. That's what I thought. Six on the kickoff event is cheering fans. Each coach rolls a die three and then adds their team's fame and adds the number of cheerleaders on their team to the score. Wait a minute. They don't add fame. That's not right. They just add the cheerleaders to the score. Oh, no, they do add fame. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, they do add fame. I was thinking of, of something else. So the fame, get whoever has fame, like I have fame this this game, plus one. So in this case, I get to add plus one, plus one with my, for fame, plus one for my cheerleader, which gives me plus two on my die roll. And then the roll of an eight is brilliant coaching. Each coach rolls a die three and adds their fame and adds a number of assistant coaches. Exact same thing, it's just for the coaches instead of the cheerleader. But yeah, I couldn't remember if it was six and eight or different ones. I thought it was six and eight though. The six, seven, and eight are the are the most random or the most uh, most common rolls on die six over average. 
and he gets the reroll. So he rolled. I either rolled a one and he rolled a two or uh, three. That's what it had to be. I rolled a one and he rolled a three. It's the only way he gets the reroll there. Because if he rolled, if I rolled a two and he rolls a three, we both get it. So I rolled a one, he rolled a three. So see, he rolled a three plus one for his coach is a four. I rolled a one plus fame plus coach is three. If I rolled a two, then we both get one. It's the only possible way he could have got a reroll by himself there. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. <clears throat> a three, two, a one. <laughs> wow. That sucked. Mm. All right, so what's he going to do here? Is he going to blitz down here? Or blitz over here? He's going to blitz here. <coughs> Doesn't bloodlust. Doesn't take me down either, though. That's good. I could get a hit on this uh, vampire now. That would be nice. Oh, nice. Failed the bloodlust. So go ahead and chomp on that, uh, chomp on that, uh, oh, I need to, uh, hope he gets a uh, cross here, takes his thrall out, or at least, uh, nom, 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 nom. KOs him. Ah, just a stunned. Darn it. Oh, a seven. If it had been an eight, it would have been a KO. One more and it had been a KO. Oh wow, he's foul. Thralls are too too <laughs> That's a terrible foul on a rookie skeleton. That's an absolutely terrible play right there. Thralls are too valuable to a vampire team to be foul on a rookie skeleton. Absolutely terrible play right there. Absolutely terrible play. Dumb, dumb, dumb right there. Man, I want to get the Mighty Blow hit, but that's two go-for-its, man. Shit, do I really want to do that? I think I'm going <clears> to. <throat> nice. At least I didn't fail the first one. <clears throat> Draw one off the pitch. Yeah, that's that's uh, that was a really stupid foul for a rookie. Now, if that would have been a tomb guardian and he had two or three assists, I'd say okay, sure. But not on a rookie skeleton. It's pointless to do that. And he took a chance of potentially losing one of his thralls for the rest of the game, and he needs his thralls. He needs to be able to bite on them. 
especially having four vamps. If he only has three vamps, it's a little different because you don't have as many potential uh, bloodlust fails. But having four of them, that's another potential fail each turn. Just a dumb, dumb foul. Mm. Take down there. Not gonna help him too much. <coughs> no break is good. Does give him a one die here if he wants it. <coughs> he's gonna take it. Nice, no takedown. That's big. One die there, but no block with him. Fade bloodlust. Ah, darn it. it. Does give him two dice there now. He does get the yellow. Ah, oh, he breaks. Damn it. Lucky fucker. Uh, darn it. Do that one die. Get a turnover. Make him use a reroll. Nice. Does he reroll it? He does. Oh, and he gets the yellow. Lucky dog. <coughs> Lucky dog. No break, though. That's good. So that'll give me two dice on him now with this uh, skelly here. Just choose to take it. Blitz here. Gets the takedown. I don't think he would. Well, he might. I was gonna say I don't think he would potato out here, but. <coughs> oh wow! You better move him in one. Elsewise, you get. Oh, okay. You can do it that way too. I still wouldn't have done that though. Not like that. To foul a skeleton again. Wow. I, I come on, get caught, get caught, get caught, get caught, get caught. Oh, you lucky fucker! I mean, these are absolutely stupid, terrible fouls. Just absolutely stupid fouls. <laughs> wow, so dumb. And he's getting away with them. All right, so let's think here. How do I want to do this? Could blitz here. Push out, follow in. Chains. He'll come up to here. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do, but... I mean, he's fouling rookie skeletons. This is fucking dumb. Absolutely fucking dumb, man. So let's do this hit first. Where do I want to follow in, though? That's the question. Push him there. Yeah. yeah let's do that. Nice. Let's see if I can get a break here. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh, and my guy got mighty blow too. Come on, baby, break his ass. Break his fucking ass. Ugh, damn it. Supposed to break him, man. Um, we're gonna. Actually, gonna follow. Come on, Mighty Blow. Do some do some work here on this niggle, Mighty Blow. Do some work on this niggle right here. Fuck! God damn it! Come on! I just want to break a motherfucker right here, man. Just want to break a motherfucker. <coughs> He 
He doesn't have block, right? He doesn't. Nice. Let's see if we can make a couple go forts here. <clears throat> oh yeah, I still got a wizard too, don't I? We'll entice him with the one die block there. We'll see what he does. We'll entice him with that one die block. <clears throat> So you can get two dice there with him. He's going to take that first without even thinking about what he's doing with the rest of his turn yet. This guy's not, he doesn't think ahead very much, I can already tell. Although he did take slow down and take time before he's going to do this hit at least. Yeah, you're uphill on all that shit, buddy. One die there, unless you decide to dodge out. <sighs> Didn't see him doing that. Not a bad play, though. It would free his edge piece up. Oh, that's not the play. Yeah. <sighs> So he did at least think things out there before he just did the hit, or the, uh, yeah, the hit there on the skeleton. So you can one die blitz here if he wants. Mm. That's what he's gonna do. Come on, turn over dice. Make him use a reroll. There we go. That's what I wanted. At least make him use a reroll. That's all I ask. He gets the yellow, but that's okay. He still used the reroll. And he didn't break, which is even better. That will give him two dice on him. It's just a one die. Why? You got two here. What are you doing, dude? Take your two dice. You had it. Makes no sense to me. Looks like he might potato out here. Question is, would I use the lightning bolt here or not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got block and I don't. Well, fuck. You lucky motherfucker. Unbelievable. And he KO'd me. Even worse. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Ah. <sighs> That's pathetic. Lucky motherfucker. Why couldn't he get that? Well, he did actually get the turnover dice with him, didn't he? Well, now, do I use it? Or do I just try to put pressure on him and then make him make the go for it? Especially with not having the... Uh, with not having a um, guy down there. I don't think I use it right here. I think I use it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That'll free him up, and then I can blitz there and come down. Yeah, I don't use it here. Just wait for a second. Stand him up. Let's just do this hit.
All right, well, that sucks. I had to use that reroll. Now I got to hope I get a yellow here. Nice. If I didn't get a yellow there, I'd have been fucked. Oh, fuck, I stayed. God damn it. Ugh. Fuck, I hit the wrong fucking button. Son of a bitch. My God. Ugh, I'm so pissed. Playing too fucking fast. Mm -mm -mm -mm, man. Too fucking fast. God damn it, that pisses me off so bad. <sighs> I gotta do the dodge out now. And I guarantee you I'm gonna fucking fail it. And I was one away from KO in that fucking thrall too. Ooh. Yep, I knew it. I fucking knew it, man. God damn it, that pisses me off so bad. <sighs> Just fucking gave him the easy score. So frustrating. So frustrating. Now you can get this guy down to bite on if he needs him. If he chooses to. Yep. So absolutely frustrating. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Well, that just fucked up my whole thought process of what I was going to do. Or what I was trying to make him have to do. <clears throat> Man, that's so frustrating. Come on with the one die yellows, man. One die takedowns, period. He did have one one die turnover with this vampire last time. I'm tired of him getting all the fucking one down takedowns, though. <laughs> And he's only bloodlusted once so far. Activating the vampires every turn. Actually, he didn't activate this one over here the first turn. So he's done three, four, four, and four. Well, four this turn if he does them all. Yep. It's three, four, four, and four. So that's 12, 15 times he's activated and he's only uh, bloodlusted once. That's not good. <coughs> And he's gonna foul again for a pox skelly. Why? I, I just don't get it. It's so fucking stupid. It would be nice if fucking Nuffle would burn him for this stupidity. Thank you, finally. It's just an absolutely stupid, stupid play to foul a rookie tomb guardian or a rookie uh, skeleton. Ugh. Um, Saturday night afternoon only so do I lightning bolt here if I do go one two three four and then go one two three four five six and potentially pick up the ball probably the only real chance I have to slow him down here if I could break him that would be huge um, push him there he'll go one two three four to get down here he'll come into here Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, that could work out pretty good. I think I do lightning bolt here. It didn't fizzle. That's good. Break him. Break him. Break him. Break him. All right, we'll take it. All right, so, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to stand him. Bring this guy down to here. Bring this guy into here. <coughs> See if we can make two go for it's here. Nice. 
Nice. We'll push him here. This lets me at least potentially get the mighty blow hit on this guy if I make both go for it. Ugh. Ugh, come on. Do not do this to me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Perfect. Now break him, please. Break him, please. Yes. All right, so he can't pick the ball up this turn. All right. He cannot pick the ball up, which is good. Let's get the mighty blow hit on this guy first. Break. Oh, that's big. Come on, baby. And reach. Oh, I don't know regen yet. Come on, baby. Fail regen. Oh, he gets it back. Damn it. Lucky dog. That is a big uh, casualty there for me, though. For S Hunter. And it was a badly hurt. <coughs> Well, my recovery wasn't terrible if I was able to get away with what I did there. Not having the reroll here is not good, but <clears throat> my throw rod's out anyway, so I, my, my chances to pick the ball up is a lot less right now anyway. So he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then push me down. But breaking both these guys and, and being able to use him for the assist so that I could get the mighty blow hit with him was huge because it allowed me the chance to break him. Might as well try it. Nice! That worked out perfect. And I rolled the dice in the right way. A 2-2 two, two, and then the, saved the high roll for the pickup. <laughs> that was beautiful. If I couldn't have got all three of these guys down here like that, then that probably wouldn't have been a very good lightning bolt for sure. <clears throat> He's probably going to blitz out here. Try to hit my mighty little guy maybe. Oh, no, he didn't. Wow. And he did a straight-up hit with no guy there to, uh, no guy there to, uh, bite if he bloodlusted. And then he rolled turnover dice on top of it. Had to use a reroll on that. That's beautiful. Oh, that's the edge five piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he bloodlusts, he could be in trouble. Bloodlust, baby. Oh, he didn't bloodlust, and he made all those with no... Come on, roll a one. God damn, dude. Roll a fucking one for real. Jesus. All those rolls without rolling a one with no reroll. So absolutely lucky right there. So absolutely lucky. All right, so we're going to stand this guy up because I want to get three dice on him to make sure I get a potential yellow that I don't fucking get, of course. Unreal. How the fuck does that happen, seriously? How in the absolute fuck does that happen? <sighs> so frustrating. And then I get the yellows there. So fucking frustrating. Finally broke the niggle. So the niggle's gone. <coughs> that's a thrall off the pitch. That's good. And that's uh, banana nana nana man. B A N A N E N N A N E N. Five for the badly hurt. Might as well stand this guy up, I guess. Four, 
five. <coughs> Blitz here. One, two. Actually, I think that's what I do. I blitz or I blitz here. And he can come down. Yeah, let's do it that way. Fuck me. I need to quit doing three die blocks, evidently. Holy Christ. You gotta be kidding me, man. Unreal. Unfucking real. So frustrating, dude. So fucking frustrating. Problem is, now he can... I gotta leave my skeleton to get surfed there. I don't have a choice. <clears throat> don't have a choice. I just gotta try to protect the ball here. Bloodlust. Yes. Thank you. There goes the last reroll. Alright, so his reroll's gone. That's what we like to see. <laughs> hypnotic gaze. Oh, hypnotic gaze, dude. You're fucking up. Bounce wasn't terrible. Now, if he can just roll a one on this pickup, I'll be okay. Roll a one. Roll a one. Fuck. Oh, he did on the pickup. I meant to do it. I meant on the go for it, but the pickup is where he did it. Um, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. So we'll get this guy down here. This guy here. Don't allow me that hit. Actually. Get this guy here. Actually gonna fuck, I wanna blitz there. I'd love to get the hit on that edge piece though. But this is the better play. With me having no rerolls, this is the smarter and better play. Get the hit on him. So now, what's he do here? Uh, he probably tries to bounce the ball and hope he gets lucky. So do I go uphill here? Or do I make? Nah, I just make him make the dodge out. 
Yeah, let's make him make the dodge out. Yeah, it's Hail Mary. He took it before he took the edge bump, though. Or before he got the edge bump. Yeah, oh, absolutely, Oni. The wizard's absolutely worth it as long as he doesn't score. <clears throat> That's what I have to do to worry about the most right now is keeping him. I mean, me scoring would have been nice, but stopping him from scoring is better. I need this ball to not bounce down this way. I need it to bounce back up here. Come on, ball. Bounce good, baby. Bounce good. Oh, he fucking injured me. God damn it. I regened it, though. Oh, the... No, don't, don't. Yes, perfect. Perfect. We'll take it. We will take it. Oh, show. Oh, come on. It's fucking one die takedowns, man. With unskilled pieces. It's like four or five now already. Now he's got a, a lot easier chance to pick this fucking ball up. Unreal, man. Unfucking real. <sighs> Roll a one on the bloodlust at least. Because then he can't score if he does. Well, he fails to die, so that's good enough. Catch it. Oh. No, you're not supposed to catch it. Damn it. That's all right, though. We can make this work. We can make this work. If we can get a takedown right here, we can make this work. It's perfect. And a break. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we like to see. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Definitely not in the range to score, unfortunately. Oh, we at least pin this guy on the sideline, too. If he doesn't do something there, he could get surfed next turn. Nice break there. Or a uh, nice takedown there, I should say. Pick it up. Ah, damn it. It's all right. He can't score. That's all that matters. He cannot score, so the uh, the wizard worked. <coughs> you can't you can't pass unless you uh, have somebody to bite. If he doesn't have anybody to bite, then there's he can't do a hail mary pass. He has to bite somebody first. Uh, actually, no, you're right. He can score. Actually, yeah, he could dodge out here, dodge, dodge, pick it up, and then pass it. You're absolutely right. He could score. I don't think he sees it, though. Not with what he's trying to do here. He could score with him, too, potentially. His best bet's to run this guy down here. And then pick it up at the edge guy and throw it. He could have scored. I don't think he sees it, though. He definitely doesn't see it, because he would have done that, piece, that play there if he did. Come on, Bloodlust. Oh, he's got the fucking throw right there to eat. Still would have been nice, because he could have crossed him. be nice if he'd have turned over before he had a chance to do something there, though. <laughs> We'll take that. Break yourself. Ah. Could have broke yourself at least. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, man.
Oh, this is a mighty blow too. Come on, baby. Get a yellow right here. Get a yellow. Yes. Come on, mighty blow. Do your job. Do a fucking job. Ah, damn it. Bastards. Bastards. Well, since I didn't take him down, we'll foul the edge thrall. Break this thrall, baby. Get yourself up to four. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Cross, cross, cross. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what I'm talking about right there. And another thrall off the pitch. Is that the third or fourth one gone? Third one. Now, hopefully, we can get this edge one off the pitch, too. And that's Pig Sofa one casualty away now from leveling, which is even better. So he did, what, three or four fouls before he finally got caught? I bet I get caught on my first one. But if I can cross him, it'd be worth it. Fuck a KO would even be worth it. Makes him have to at least roll it. I break him. No, I don't get caught, but it's just a stun. Now that's a foul that's worth doing. A rookie skeleton against an edge boosted throw. Every single foul he did was pointless dumb fouls. Not worth it at all. And he finally got caught on the third or fourth one, however, whichever one it was. Nice. Both KOs stay out, so both thralls are gone. My throw rock comes back, which is good. So we're, we're sitting in pretty good shape here. He's down five thralls now. <coughs> which means he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. But that's good. We'll start picking these thralls off. He's got to put three on the line, right? He's not going to put his vamps up there, I wouldn't expect. Maybe his rookie one he does. But I wouldn't expect him to do that. Yeah, and he's going to put them where I can get really good shots at all of them. Three dice on all of them. That's a beautiful thing. It's a bad lineup for him right here. He should go one, two, three across and only let me get two dice with my throw or my Tomb Guardians. Instead, he's going to let me get three dice on every single one of them. We like it. <clears throat> we like it a lot. And then we're going to get a mighty blow hit on this guy. This guy here. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> Since he smartened up a little bit there. He smartened up a little bit there. <clears throat> Still potentially get a blitz on him. I just won't be able to pin him on the sideline like before. Actually, I might just go after him instead. Nah, we'll go after him. Now, this is where the Hail Mary Pass can come in handy is in this drive here. If, if he's able to get the ball out down here and pick it up with him and just boot it all the way down here, that's where it comes in big time handy. Alright, so. Our two Tomb Guardians that can level are going to go on the outsides here. Our two Mighty Blows are going to go in here. Put him here. Him here. Skelly with the block in the middle. Skelly here. Skelly there. And let's hope to God he doesn't get a blitz. If he gets a blitz, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked if he gets a blitz. Oof. That helps me. I got fame. That could have been worse. Could have been worse. <clears throat> See if we can get this Tomb Guardian leveled. Ugh! Damn it. Alright, one of these guys is at 15. Oh, no, he's at 13. Shit. 
Alright, so he'll just hit here then. It's fine, we'll push him here and stay. That lets him get hit here with the mighty blow. There we go. Push him there and we'll stay. hits here because why not oh shit I hit the wrong guy damn it that's not the guy I wanted to fucking hit <laughs> he's I forgot he switched this fucking edge piece off to over here totally forgot about that oops See if we can make a pick up here. Nice. Nice. Totally fucked that up. I meant to hit that guy. Okay. Sure. I'm okay with you doing that. For a one die? That's an uphill. Does it seem to you guys like he's starting to get a little frantic the way he's starting to try to do this shit? <laughs> Seems to me like he's getting just a little bit frantic. Not enough movement. Oh, and he bloodlusted. Nice. That means he's got to eat his uh, edge thrall over here. Oh, he double bloodlusted. He even wasted a reroll and ha still has to eat him. Oh, fuck. He rolls another one here, and that's beautiful. Does he not realize he can chew on a down throw? I bet he doesn't know he can chew a down throw. Oh, maybe he does. Oh, he threw three ones in a row. Yes. Get off the pitch, motherfucker. <laughs> three ones in a row. Wow. That is fucking awesome, dude. That is fucking awesome. Alright, so let's think about this real quick before we do moves. We're going to come off around this way here. here first because of that. Oh, nice. Another thrall gone. That'll give me a chance to do the blitz now with this other Tomb Guardian. Mighty Blow, do a job right here, baby. Oh, yeah. Good job, Mighty Blow. Oh, 
Oh, what a... Ooh, damn! Oh, I hope that sticks. I hope that sticks, baby. Oh, he used the APO. APO was into a perm. He better hope regen hits. He took the edge break. Oh, regen saves him. You lucky dog. You lucky dog. But we're sitting really pretty now. That's two vamps off the pitch now. And that is Tom Schnizzle. Tommy Schnizzle. Rerolls it. That's fine. We'll take it. What's the, um... I don't remember the sound bite. Oh, there it is. There it is. I couldn't remember what it was. Oh, just a stun. Darn it. Alright, so... Tom... Nizzle with 15 for the dead. <coughs> oh, and a one die skull. We like it. Cross yourself, foot. Cross yourself, foot. Shame we can't surf this dude here. That'd be nice. Let's get the mighty blow hit. Ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a mighty blow hit with him. Good. All right, let's see if we can level this guy up. Three dice. Come on, baby. Level yourself up, fool. Oh, it's a KO. Damn it. Pig Sofa could have leveled. Could have leveled right there, Pig. He could have leveled, man. <coughs> Damn it. Actually, I'm going to go here. He's going to come up here. Actually, no, he's going to come in here. All right, and he'll go here. Take a mighty blow hit with him. Oh, goodbye, vampire. Down to one vamp left. It's the kind of shit we like to see right there. That's the kind of shit we like to see right there. This game just went really, really south for him in this half, didn't it? <clears throat> went about as bad as you could possibly get. I'm going to start doing passes here in a second. <laughs> last ditch effort here oh and he breaks himself and a KO <laughs> last ditch effort here he's doing everything he can possibly do to try to somehow figure out how to oh and there goes the concede <laughs> yeah baby that's what I like I like free easy wins now let's hope a Tomb Guardian gets an MVP here. One of the two MVPs goes to a Tomb Guardian. Nope. Looks like uh, Mighty Blow Blitzraw got one of them, unfortunately. Hopefully the Tomb Guardian got the other. Uh, one of the tomb, rookie Tomb Guardians got the other. Uh, we'll re-roll that. Oh, went to a six. Nice. Come on, Tomb Guardian. Tomb Guardian. Oh, it's a fucking skeleton. Damn you, Oni. Why are you still in my MVPs, dude? No, two nothing. He conceded. Oni, stealing my MVPs, damn it. How dare you. 
And Detox gets the other one. You're not going to be a Fowler. My my Dirty Player Skeleton is a badass Dirty Player. He kicks ass every time he fouls. And he doesn't get caught hardly at all. One game he fouled six or seven times and never got caught. And every one of them was a takeoff. KO or a cross, I think, if I remember right. It was some ridiculous, crazy thing. He really, really good Fowler. He's going to be my Fowler every game. He was just missing this game because he uh, had an MNG. All right. That's good, though. That's a win, man. That's what we want. That's what we want. Besides, I already gave you blocks, so you're going to be a different different kind of skeleton. Different kind of skeleton. No level, unfortunately. But we got the uh, both rookie Tomb Guardians now are one casualty away. We got so many guys so close to leveling. We got one, two skeletons close to getting their first level. The Oni now is a skeleton close to getting level three. This throw raw is two points away from leveling. This blitz raw is one point away from leveling. This one's this blitz raw is, is an MVP away. A touchdown away for that Tomb Guardian and a casualty away from both for both the rookie Tomb Guardians. Yeah, I seen it well I knew he was 10 1 0 at one point. He's just had luck. That's all it is. He'll run into a team that's going to destroy his team, and he'll go downhill from there. All he needs is that one game that destroys, like, one or two of his Tomb Guardians, and then he'll start going downhill from there. That's nothing. I, I had a team that was 12-2-0 at once, I think. Maybe even 13-2-0. I forget where it was at right before I, where I had that game where I lost one or two Tomb Guardians and my team went downhill. No, he's just had, he's had either, A, I mean, I haven't looked, but my guess is, A, he's either had really favorable matchups, or he's had several guys concede to him, and or he's, uh, the matchups where they weren't favorable, he, he had uh, fortune on his side where he didn't take a lot of heavy hits, right? He probably hasn't lost hardly anybody. Again, I haven't looked at his, his history of his games, so I don't know what he's played or, or how they've went, but that's my guess. Well, still, a favorable matchup for Kimry is any matchup where you're not facing three or four claw pieces, right? Or even two claw pieces. Any other matchup for them is favorable. I, I'll take any matchup against any team as long as they don't have two or more claw pieces. And I'll feel confident in my ability to win the games. Even with an, a brand new Kimry team that's unskilled. The claw is what scares Kimry the most. Any other matchup? I don't like Dark Elves, but I still like the matchup. I'll still take the matchup. Oh, yeah. Nope. I, I, the only thing that scares me with Zons is if I give them enough money to get Zara. Zara, if, if an Amazon team doesn't have Zara, I can control them easily. But if they get Zara, I have a hard time against them. Wood Elf teams, I smash. I very rarely lose to Wood Elf teams. If you went and looked at my, I mean, from, from the history of me playing Kimry, since I became good with them, whether it's tabletop, uh, 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 tabletop tournaments or Blood Bowl 1 or Blood Bowl 2, I guarantee you my win percentage against Woody's with Kimry is probably 70 to 75% win percentage. I can almost guarantee it. Maybe even higher than that. Wood Elves, I, I just, I kill Wood Elves with, with uh, Kimry. Amazons aren't near as good. My win rate against Amazons is maybe 55, 60%. Maybe, now nah, probably more around 55, maybe 50 but it depends, like I said, again, it depends on if I give them enough money to get Czar. If they get Czar, I have a hard time with Czar. But um, any other time, I usually don't have a hard time with, with Amazons. I'll tie Amazons more often than I'll lose. <clears throat> I've played, just to put it in perspective, in, at the Chaos Cup Major Tournament, five years in a row now I think I've went, maybe six years. No, five years. 2013, I think, was my first year I went. Five years in a row now, I've played Wood Elves probably... Let's see, one, two, three, four... 
four or five times. I think five, because I think I, I didn't have any last year, but I think one year I had two. And every other year I've had at least one. There might have been one year there where I didn't have, where I didn't play them. So it could be four. It's either four or five times I've played Wood Elves, and I've won every single match. Either one nothing or two nothing. None of, none of the Wood Elves have scored on me. I know that for a fact. Um, in all those matches at Chaos Cup. And I played a lot of Wood Elves against a lot of Wood Elves. But anyway, in any event, the the my worst matchup, honestly, my absolute worst matchup is Dark Elves. I, I for some reason I just have the absolute worst time beating Dark Elves with Kimry. Um, high Elves, I'm probably average. It's probably pretty close to even with wins and losses and draws. Uh, pro Elves, I don't really play Pro Elves very much, but the few times I've played them, I beat them pretty easily if I remember right. It's been a while since I've played one. Wood Elves, I demolish. Skaven, I usually beat pretty easily. Every once in a while, I'll have a hard time with them. But but the bigger, the bigger, heavier teams, like Orcs, um, Dwarves, I don't have a problem with. Orcs, I usually don't have a problem with. I usually beat them pretty easily. Um... Chaos Dwarves. I do tend to have a problem with Chaos Dwarves every once in a while, depending on how well the coach is with them. Um, but I beat Cruz for Chaos Dwarves last season, towards the end of the season, uh, with my Kimmy team. But the teams that I have the most trouble with are Chaos and Nurgle that have two or three claw. Necro sometimes give me a fit. A lot of times I'll end up drawn against Necro. Um, I probably have more draws than I have losses. And my wins are probably just average. Uh, Undead I beat pretty easily because the claw's not there to, to take me out. Uh, ogres I usually don't have much of a problem with. I mean, who does? Uh, trying to think of the other teams that have a lot of big, big guys. Lizards. Lizards are kind of, I don't know, lizards are a little different. Lizards um, is really kind of dice dependent. If dice are completely even on a lizard team, then I usually end up getting close to a draw. I either win by one, lose by one, or draw, right? It's not a big difference. Um, but there's a lot of draws there. But if the dice are heavily, or I wouldn't even say heavily, but more skewed in my direction, I can easily beat them. If they're skewed against me, then I'm going to have a really tough time with them. Even a little bit. Like, some games, though, like like Vamps if, or, or Kislev or something like that, Underworld even, uh, if the dice are skewed against me a little bit, I can still win those games. Uh, if they're heavily skewed against me, then I, it's, it's a different story. But, but even lightly skewed against me, I can win a lot of those matchups. But a game like, or, or a race like Lizards, if they're lightly skewed against me, then it's most likely, likely that I'm not going to win it. <clears throat> and it really all depends on... Tomb Guardians. If your Tomb Guardians get taken out and they're out of the game for the rest of the game and you're down to three or two of them, then that makes the whole game a lot different, right? If I have all four of my Tomb Guardians for the whole game, then I'm going to have a chance to win almost every single game that I'm in if I have all four of my Tomb Guardians throughout the match with that they don't go off. I'm going to be in there and have a chance to win those games. But that's just the thing, Irish. They don't. For me, they don't. Dark Elves do. But the other elves don't. I can I can play against a, one of the Wood Elf teams. I beat two to nothing in Chaos Cup. I didn't take but maybe two or three elves off the pitch. He had seven or eight elves through at least through most of the match, and I still beat him two nothing. I just I have a I have a tendency against Wood Elves to be able to play them perfectly. They have a hard time playing against me. What's up, Catsquism? How you doing, man? Zons, definitely, because they can easily uh, uh, dodge away and continue pushing the pitch, right? Lizards are definitely rough. Uh, it, yes. Yes and no. Like I said, if you go against a, a Chaos or Nurgle team that has three or four claw mighty blow pieces it can be really bad because they're the most likely pieces to take your Tomb Guardians off. And once you lose a Tomb Guardian or two, like Lizards can be tough, but if you have all four of your Tomb Guardians with Guard, 
and and even one or two stand firms, whatever, where and, and maybe one other guard piece like on a blitz raw. You can position against lizards enough to make it tough for them, right? To make it to where they can still only get two or one die hits on your tomb guardians, um, and they're less likely to take your tomb guardians off. Even if they have mighty blow, they're less likely to take your tomb guardians off, as opposed to a Nurgle team or a claw, chaos team that has two or three claw, right? Because the claw has a lot easier chance to take the tomb guardians off, and that's where you lose your your advantage when your tomb when your uh, Kimri is when you lose even just one Tomb Guardian. If you're down to three Tomb Guardians against any of those teams, you, I mean, you're pretty much screwed. And if you get two taken off and you're down to two against them, you're done. You're not going to win. <clears throat> the best you can hope for is that you survive and that you can somehow get the draw. Um, but other teams, like, and Lizards are, are in that vein too. If they can get a Tomb Guardian off, you're going to have a tough time against them because of all the strength they got. But it's harder for them to get a Tomb Guardian off unless they're willing to foul with Skinks. Um, but any of the other teams, lesser teams, uh, you know, elves, anything like that, even if they get one Tomb Guardian off, you're still not in bad shape. You can still position well enough to slow them down, and if they have a bad set of dice on a particular sequence where they turn over, then that puts you in the driver's seat, right? Um, but yeah, that's that's the whole point of, of Kimri is your Tomb Guardians. And if you lose a Tomb Guardian, you're you're in a really bad spot. It's going to put you way, way behind. Guard Heavy Zons are, are frustrating as hell, for sure. Especially if they're Blodge, Blodge Guards. Like if you like my Zon team I had in Twitch Blubble League before it got demolished, I had, Bl I had a 14-girl roster, and I had Blodge on 13 of them, and I had, I think, 4 or 5 Guard. And that team was an absolute nightmare. But then one season in nine games, I took I fuck, five or six deaths that season, and it destroyed my team. But yeah, you get a team built like that, the fucking Zons, are, they're a nightmare for anybody. It don't matter who you are, except for dwarves. Dwarves can be still be a pain to them. But... Yeah, that's the answer, Oni. You're right. Row, row. Yeah, besides the claw teams, lizards are definitely probably the hardest team for um for the source just be or for the the Kimri just because they have all the source with all the strength um and if they have a source that's strength boosted and they have two strength five pieces the, the source and the crocs that's just makes it even worse <coughs> um but yeah i mean and and don't get me wrong for a Kimri coach most Kimri coaches are probably going to have a rough time against all elf teams i just don't i tend to play the elf teams very well I, I tend to be able to position well enough to put pressure on them and to slow them down. Now, you're still going to have your games where they just do goofy, crazy elf shit and don't fail at anything, and you're going to lose 3 nothing or 3-1 to one or 4-1 to one or something like that. I mean, you, you're not going to get away from those games. They're going to happen no matter how good you are and no matter uh, how good you are against a specific race. You're going to have matches like that. Nothing you can do about those. But if you look at the, those are outlier matches. You look at all the matches as a whole, and you take your whole record as a whole, and uh, and that's what you go off of. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see. The line of my, my people, people back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave may live. <laughs>